I hope I, I hope I did a good job of expressing that, and I hope I interested you in the game, or I hope I furthered your interest in the game. Because it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I'm biased, of course, because I love it, but I think it's a wonderful game. I think it succeeds in being that old school RPG feel that a lot of games strive for. I think it succeeds. Um, all my wolf pelts, so I need to come back here. I just wanted to take a look at them so I knew where they were. And I'll go home. I'll go out this way. Oh, come on. There we go. And I'm going to sip some water. Sipping some water. Hmm. We're about two hours into the stone shard. This will be my usual time. Ooh, wolf. Uh, it's gone. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't even have room to, for the pelts. Um, this is my usual time to remind anyone, if you're here enjoying the channel, enjoying the content, and you're not followed, please follow. I, I need more followers. I love people following, so. I want growth, and that's how you get it. There's so many people streaming stone shard. Let's go. Let's go. This morning, I was looking at it, and there was only, like, three people. So I'm glad to see more people are streaming. Um, one guy was streaming. One person was streaming. Excuse me. Their name was Killy Billy. Billy Killy. I don't know. And they had quite a few viewers. I was I was very happy to see Stone Shard get a, a streamer play in with that many viewers. I know Splattercat played the other day, too. And they had a lot of viewers, too. That was great to see. Love to see the game doing well. This enemy's a mage, so they're going to cast magic spells at me. That's, that's okay, though. As long as he didn't set me on fire just now, it's okay. Billy was the one who fought Manticore. Real, so I'm sure what you're saying makes total sense, but I don't know what you're referring to. Did we talk about someone fighting the Manticore? Oh, you said they fought, they fought it and died and didn't learn much, right? And that was Billy? I'm remembering that correctly now, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay, yesterday, yeah, yeah, awesome. Um, so I'm in a little bit of trouble. Oh, not anymore. He just, he hit his own guy real good. Um, so this swordsman is, is kind of powerful, and he's blocking me from killing the mage. So I want to kite, kite the swordsman behind this big rock so the mage can't hit me while I'm fighting the swordsman. Well, I wish Billy the best of luck if they fight the manticore again. I wish them the best of luck. I'm sure I will be I will be in their position soon where I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm dying to the manticore. Oh come on. I'm trying to get the, the, the mage to have to run at me. Whatever, I have to run at the mage. I'm wasting time running around. Then I can dash if they if they run away. Okay no, they're they're standing their ground. Oh jeez. Okay, okay. That was really bad. For, for just one mage, that was handled, like, really poorly. Um, I need a solution for mages. I need to... Well, you know what? I think it was just the longsword guy showed up at a poor time. I think that that was just a, a little unlucky. Maybe I could have played better still, but I'm not as worried about the low-level mages. For a moment, I was like, ooh, there's a hole in my build that I need... A, a mage-shaped hole in my build that I need to fill, but I think it's fine. I think that was just a, a bad time. So I'll turn the quest in, sell all this stuff, and take a lot of stuff out of my inventory. Oh, Silver Topaz Ring! This is what you were talking about. I didn't even notice I had this. This is what you were talking about, right, Real? The ring you were mentioning in particular? Five health, five accuracy? Yeah, let's go. Okay. And is Yeah, my accuracy is not even capped with it on, so that's super good. That's worthwhile. That's way better than the other ring. And am I there yet? So I'm, I'm at I'm at my goal. I'm at Manshire again. I'm just going home. Ninety nine percent accuracy. Yeah, let's go. That's good. Um, I would like to have it over a hundred, just in case you know, in for the dodge chance. Like the wolves get dodge chance from dashing at you and stuff like that. But ninety nine is good still. That should work just fine for most enemies. And as mentioned, I need to sell off my stuff, and I need to have a really clean inventory. This whole top row, or this whole top three rows, needs to be completely empty for me to fit all the wolf belts that I have. So, so I'll have to sell off a lot of stuff and leave stuff here. 
But because I'm not going to a new dungeon, that's fine. I only need my inventory this full because I was entering a dungeon and like I was afraid of dying in there. While I'm just traveling on the overworld, my inventory can be way less full. And I will be happy to, happy to have it like that. Like I'm not worried or whatever. Um, put this away. I'll keep this. I think everything else I want to sell, this I want to keep actually. Hey, Rapid, how you doing? Yeah, my gear's... I'm pretty happy with the gear. I'm pretty happy with this stuff. I found the occult cloak this morning. This ring has energy drain on it. I'm pretty stoked about this gear. Um, I hunted a lot of animals to get a lot of money, so that's that's where all the, the money came from to buy the gear with. But it's great to see you again, Rapid. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a lovely day. So I'll go sell off all this stuff. Your chest is really full? Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff in there, too. I'm like a hoarder. I I just I can't I can't throw away stuff. I just in real life I throw stuff away like all the time. My my roommate's closer to a hoarder than I am, but it's all right. Well, I hope it starts going better than all right then, Rapid. I hope it starts going amazing. Um, but in game I'm a hoarder. I, I can't get rid of anything. I just I, I obsess over it all. Repair my gear, good sir, so I can sell you this stuff. Sell this, get all my money back. <laughs> cough into the microphone and then we'll keep going mm, I shouldn't have sold that bit of metal the bit of metal would have been better to sell to the um, the blacksmith um, so as mentioned I just have to throw stuff down but it doesn't matter what I get rid of because I'm coming right back and I'm not going to be in any danger so this is fine And if you have any questions, if you're still still here, uh, Puspa, if you have any questions about what I'm doing, please, please type them. Please ask. I'm happy to answer them. It's it's like my favorite thing in the world, to answer questions. And that might sound sarcastic. It's not at all. Yeah, it's not that good. But it's I, I call my gear pretty, pretty stacked. I'm pretty happy with it. So it's the best gear I could I could get for me at level 10. Oh, and you know what I saw? I was again. I was watching Lazy Lovelace this morning. Um, the 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 hand amulet. It's not random. He he walked right to it, or they walked right to it. What are the best protection boots like ever? Like what are they in general? Or for for me, I, I have no idea what the very best ones in the game are. Um, I think these are the best I can buy right now, though. Like uh, the highest I have available. Maybe there's some chainmail boots I could buy that have one more protection. But I don't know what the highest is. I think I think it's 26, but I don't know what it is. I think the best boots provide 26 protection. Um, but that's just from chat. I don't I don't know exactly what they are. You can buy 12 protection right now with the bailiff and tot. Okay, okay. Well, I, I'm I'm fine with these, but it, I'm glad to know that there's what boots are there that provide 12 protection? I just can't think of them. I don't know why I'm asking. You'll, you'll if you type the name, that won't that won't like I won't know off the name either. So I'll just keep an eye out. Sergeant Boots. Okay, okay. I will keep an eye out. And as mentioned, I'm just going to get these wolf pelts because I'm greedy and they sell best boots are 22. Okay, not 26. That's my bad. Now, where are my wolf pelts? There we go. There's the wolf pelts. When I didn't explain, I'm, I left the meat from the wolves because it's it's like a lower tier meat, this raw, stringy meat. When I cook it, my, my guy is still sad. Don't know if you know this, but you can actually get an additional Gwyn Elixir. Yes, yes, I did know that. I did know that. Um, Huge has found a few of them on their on their own runs. Um, but yes, I've, I've been... Every time... Every time uh, I kill a, a toller, I'm like, please, please give me the Gwinnell's Elixir, and it doesn't happen. Okay, and then the rest of the pelts I threw up here? Yeah, so I'm just grabbing these pelts. I, I mentioned this before, I usually don't go back to pick up more loot, I just leave what's behind, but pelts are, are worth so much money that I have picked them up. They're worth coming back for. Um... 
And the, the dungeons, after you complete a quest, the dungeon breaks and you can't go back in it for another week. But then in a week, the dungeon reopens and the quest reopens. Like you get a new quest. You can get a new quest to do to do the dungeon. You found one randomly in a bookshelf. Oh, let's go, Rapid. I didn't know they could be on bookshelves. So that's good to know. Okay, and we're doing the big click because I want to do a big sip. I'm thirsty. Yeah, it's a beautiful inventory. Five wolf, pel wolf pelts. Feels good. That is good to see. Fill a chest with Gwinnels. That'll take some time, huge. That is a long, long-term goal. That is going the long way. Oh, there's a guy. I'm gonna kill him. There's a person. I will hunt them. Hunt them. That's kind of savage. I'm not gonna hunt the person. Okay. And as mentioned, this big swordsman's spooky, so I'm just waiting until my cooldowns come back up, and I will fight them with all my cooldowns available, so it should be easier. I knocked him back a couple of times, that made it really easy. My sanity and health at 100. Excuse me, hiccups again, I don't know what's going on with the hiccups. I meant to say sanity and morale, but they are, they're up very high, so I'm not worried about them. I can eat the herbs to get uh, sanity and morale, but no need. <clears throat> okay. And then we'll go do another dungeon. I'm normally more chill about the dungeons. I don't just slam them back to back. I take more time, maybe do some hunting, but I really want to get levels today. I want to fight the troll. And um, we're already halfway through the uh, stone shard section of today's stream, so <clears throat> we might not fight the troll today. I don't think we're gonna. I thought I might get more EXP, but I have not. I've only gotten a single level, so probably no troll today. But that'll just give us something to look forward to tomorrow. Because I do stream seven days a week. I will be back at the exact same time, streaming the same stuff on the, at the same point of the day. Okay. And these pelts, um... I should sell them in the first city, but I'll probably just sell them to the, uh, the kid, the blacksmith kid, the tailor's apprentice, and that'll be good enough. Or maybe not, he might not even have money. I can't really repair my gear in the, the blacksmith apprentice, the tailor apprentice. He's both blacksmith and tailor apprentice. Um, he doesn't have much money. You have to pay him first to, or you have to sell him, or buy, buy... Um, services from him to then sell him back your goods because he sits around with no money on him he puts it in a bank account or something hey, do you have money he has some but not much and he buys the wolf pelts for 142 I'm not actually sure if he buys them more than the general merchant I just made that assumption and I remembered I was going to check uh, okay he buys them for less than the general merchant I've been wasting money don't do what I did sell them here do not sell them to the tailor's apprentice that is a huge waste of money um, that's a today I learned and I'm hungry I'm buy vegetables you have to sell them so that's why the guards and branched off to you twice already hmm what are, what are you saying real I'm not making sense of it did I say I was selling a person or something did I say I was in the business of human trafficking I did not mean to Okay, and I'll just check and see if the shop here has anything. I really doubt they will. As mentioned, my gear is pretty much as good as I can get it to be from here. I could buy these boots, but they're a very moderate upgrade, so. Oh, 
I'll pick my stuff back up and we'll go questing again. Is this purse empty? Yeah, it's an empty purse. Throw back down. Okay. Inventory is full, but that's fine. That's that's kind of... I keep my inventories with a lot of medicine in them. And this smoke bomb I'll throw at the boss. But I keep too much loot on me, essentially. Too much medicine on me. Um, I over-prepare, but hopefully that keeps me safe. Is there any work? Source of corruption. And I'll go get the EXP buff from here. I need to remember to do that every time. Does the, um, does the alcoholic in this city have a, a quest for me? I don't know if I've ever spoken to them. Do they, do they want something in particular from me? I like doing the mini quests, so I'll check it out. What do you got to say? What's your name, like Ramsey or something, I think? No, that's the first one, Ram. This is just Lotar. Okay, he has nothing. What? Yeah, I don't know. He's just rambling. I don't know what he's trying to say to me. So I'll go do this quest. I will keep banging him out, because I want to kill the troll as soon as possible. And I'm feeling like I maybe am ready for some Bryn dungeons in like a level or two? How insane does that sound? When I say maybe I'm ready for a Bryn dungeon, does that sound like I'm losing my mind? Or like maybe, maybe that's a reasonable thing that I could do. I'm not I'm not struggling at all with these with these uh these tier 2 dungeons. I think maybe I'm ready for a tier 3. It's reasonable. <laughs> maybe. Maybe 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 I'd play it safe. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to lose the occult cloak. I'll get I'll get a couple more levels. I'll get a couple more levels before I try a tier 3. Maybe maybe a few more levels. I do have some, some like juicy spear points I want to take. I want to take a lot of points, but um, I think I want to go back and take these spear points. Like, uh, like fill out the second tree. Oh, I didn't even realize I, could, I had access to these bottom trees already. Or these, these two at least. When an enemy moves to adjacent tile, apply them with negative 15 piercing res. Grant spear strikes against adjacent enemies, extra knockback back chance. Level 13 or 14. Okay. I'll probably kill the troll at 14 and then if, if I don't die, start the tier 3 dungeons then. Critical strikes, deal an additional damage equal to 5% of the target's max health. Ooh, I'm critting a lot. I have like 20% crit chance. I could take this. That's good stuff. Um, yeah, I'll probably take this and this, and that'll get me up to 25, technically 26% crit chance, and then um, crit frequently. This is a skill, but I don't really like it. It's... Oh, it's during the next two turns. That's a little better. I thought it was just during one turn. Use the troll as the entrance to the tier threes. Okay, I'll probably do that too. That seems like my plan. That seems like a reasonable plan. Yes, yeah, so I'll take some, some spear skills. Um, I have a lot I want to take, though it's really hard for me to prioritize correctly when I'm playing a hybrid build. Um, like I want to take all of these points, and I want to take athletics points as well. Um, as soon as I get Athletics 3, like the book, I will instantly take this point. That elusiveness is like the strongest point in the game. I will always, always take it. And I should have had my bow out. Should have had the bow out. Killing the doggy first, just so that, um... They get a, the dog gets like a buff. A man catcher can make the dog do a bunch more damage. And a man catcher is the name of an enemy. Um, so I wanted to kill it before I interacted with the man catcher. And where there is a dog, there is almost always a man catcher. They, 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 they tend to be with each other, so I'm expecting I'll find one. And I could skin the dog, but I'm not going to. Even I'm not that evil. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So there's the man catcher. Uh, they were killed by some bison. Or buffalo, whichever it is. Whatever it is, it's a very dangerous animal. Bison or buffalo. Uh, I do not want to fight them. Those, those animals will kill me, certainly. I'm probably more confident fighting the troll than I am a pack of uh, buffalo. Bison? I think they're bison. But yeah, I, I'd rather fight the troll than some bison, I'm pretty sure. They are very dangerous. Okay. 
And I left that monk staff outside of the front of this dungeon, and I've never gone back and got it. Muffalos? Not, not quite. That is, that is Rimworld. That is Rimworld. So far as I know, buffalo and bison are interchangeable. I think they're actually different animals. I believe a bison and a buffalo are not the same animal. Um, I believe bison have, like, long horns that curve up after a long horizontal width, and bison are different. But I could be wrong. But I think they're different animals. Bison. Yeah, yeah. And I should have had my bow out for this fight. I'm really bad about not having the bow out. And I'm using all my abilities. I am not really expressing that, but I'm using all my abilities in combat. Um, and then they come off cooldown every turn. Or with, with enough turns, they will come off cooldown. And this enemy can't move, so as long as I just sit here, it's fine. And it'll bleed out, because it's bleeding, so I don't even have to hit it. And then, this is a special enemy. If you leave it like this, it'll come back to life. You have to smash it. Yeah, it's time to focus. Okay, okay, you're right, Real. You are right. Oh, that was lucky. I could have stepped on that. Do I have do I have everything? I have yes, I have everything I want. I have all the meds I, I could possibly want. So yeah, we're gonna get a little radio silent in here. My commentary is gonna get worse. I tried to make a radio emote, um, but I couldn't figure out how to. Couldn't figure out how to make it look good, essentially. And this is the enemy that drops the Gwinnell's elixir, so this one will certainly drop it. Totally gonna drop it. Definitely gonna get one. Oh, no, no Gwinnell's elixir. Oh, what is the Chosen doing here? Can you leave me alone, Mr. Chosen? I don't have time for this. <gasps> uh, that's so bad. I didn't mean to click on this dial. I'm so afraid for my life right now. I'm not actually afraid for my life. That was just really bad. Okay, I just wanted to try to heal up, but there's no time. Okay, that's that's his big attack, and I lived through it, so I'm okay. Oh, you found one right as I said I would? Well, lucky you. I did not. Ooh, this is not great. I didn't bring... I did bring a Vivi. Okay, okay. So I'm going to dash away. And I'm just going to leave. This is a little cheesy. I, I generally don't like to do this. Um, I just don't want to waste my potion. Um, the Chosen are the toughest enemies in these dungeons. Um, so... And I engaged the fight very poorly. I would have liked to have shot the uh, shot the chosen with with my arrows, but they they noticed me before before I was able to prepare for that. So, oh, I just I think the the chosen in general are the toughest enemies that spawn in tier two um, in tier two dungeons like this or whatever. I think this is the toughest enemy that can spawn. Yeah, they're the only one that stayed at tier fours. That is true. They're tough enough that they are there in the hardest dungeons in the game. He's low on HP though. I can get in a, just a, a, a poking fight. Just a stabbing match with him and win. Okay, let's go. And he dropped a potion. I will identify it and it's gonna be great. It's curiosity. That's actually good. That's an EXP potion. I love EXP. I'm gonna use my sponge. I'm in a lot of pain, so I'm gonna go to sleep for 10 turns and the pain will go away. Um, and I'm going to use a, uh, my, my healing salves. I might have to leave this dungeon and get more salves. I brought like four with me, but I've used them all already. I've already been up here. But yeah, that one chosen really pushed me through my medical. Uh, is there another chosen right there? There is. Jeez. Aw, oh, jeez. But this one, at least I'm able to fight correctly, like with, in my desired way, which is hitting it with a bow before it gets in melee range. Yeah, the fiends in the tier fours are wicked. I, I killed one fiend, I think. Um, and then some merc stalkers killed me. But I think I killed a fiend. Let's go, I leveled up. Let's go. Um, so every time you level up, you get to put a point in your abilities or in your... Um, your stats, you get a stat point, and you get an ability point. So I, I put my points in a perception for this build. I put five in agility, and then the rest are going in perception. Um, and then I'm going to level up here. Um, 
and I mentioned I wanted these points. These two are passive skills, but they're really good. Um, if I'm playing correctly and I'm able to keep the enemies like at arm's length, uh, this skill that I just took will make me do more damage and crit more frequently. So um, if I'm playing optimally, that skill is very powerful. If I let enemies like surround me and I get overwhelmed, the skill provides me nothing. So it's a very conditional skill, but it's very powerful when the conditions are met. Read the book, get a little EXP. You get EXP for reading all the books or for reading anything, not even just books. You always want to read. Valheim devlog just dropped, let's go. Is it a big one or is it just like we're working on, on the Ashlands or is it some real intel? I might look at it during the uh, Valheim section. I might start off looking at the, the vlog. Just an update. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's not as exciting. I won't look at it. Range Treaty 2. I don't know if I needed, if I had all the skills unlocked, but now I do. If I, there, if I had skills that were not unlocked before, they've been unlocked by me reading this book. And I forgot I needed this cup. This little cup to pour over me if I catch on fire. I might have said we were halfway through the stream at 12, That's or through the stone shard section. That's totally a lie. I don't know if I said that at 12. One o'clock is the halfway mark for stone shard. Um, just, I don't know, my brain broke. I'm just gonna run away to get my cooldowns back. As I mentioned, this is the scariest enemy in this dungeon. I want to fight them at a distance as much as I can. How weak are they? Pretty weak. I'm going to keep running. Do they explain why some of them are tied to posts? Uh, the books? Uh, I know why they're tied to posts, though. They're called martyrs. They, they, they tie themselves to the posts. That is by choice. Yeah, they're willing sacrifices. They, um, they're sacrificing themselves to the vampire gods, essentially. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.